It seems there has been a lot of speculation recently about the potential devaluation of the Iraqi Daya, especially with concerns surrounding the price of oil, which has fluctuated and now stands in the $70 range. However, when looking at the bigger picture, it becomes clear that these worries may not be as grounded as some people suggest. Yes, oil is a significant part of Iraq's economy, but it's important to recognize that the country has made strides in diversifying its revenue streams. For the first time in many years, Iraq has developed a new source of income outside of oil, which makes up about 11% of their revenue. This is a crucial point because it shows that Iraq is no longer solely dependent on oil prices to maintain its economic stability. The country's financial health is also supported by foreign reserves and a substantial gold reserve of 150 tons, which serve as a buffer to prevent currency devaluation. Moreover, Iraq is on the cusp of significant economic expansion with numerous multinational corporations eager to invest in a wide range of projects. These projects include the Ambitious Development Road, which aims to connect Iraq to neighboring countries through a major transportation network, boosting trade and development. Additionally, there are large-scale plans for new housing and infrastructure projects, all of which are essential for the country's growth. With this level of international investment interest and the scope of these infrastructure projects, it's difficult to imagine the dinar losing value. The influx of capital and the creation of jobs will only strengthen the economy further. Iraq also stands to benefit from import fees, tariffs and new port facilities which will generate additional revenue streams supporting the currency. In terms of their broader economic stability, Iraq has been proactive in managing its finances. They recently sold bonds, which provides another source of income, and these actions indicate that the government is working to maintain liquidity and stability. In addition, the country has plans to repatriate funds from the Development Fund for Iraq DFI held in the New York Federal Reserve, if they haven't done so already. This fund was established in the early 2000s and contains significant financial resources. When these funds are fully repatriated, Iraq will have even more reserves to support their currency and overall economic stability. All of this points to a country that is taking solid steps toward economic diversification and stability. The narrative that Iraq is on the verge of a dinar devaluation seems to be based more on fear-mongering than on actual facts. While it's true that oil prices fluctuate and have been lower recently, Iraq's economy is not as vulnerable to these changes as it once was. They are building a more resilient and diversified economy, with record foreign reserves, growing industries and substantial international interest. These factors provide a strong foundation, and it's reasonable to believe that the dinar is unlikely to face a devaluation now or in the foreseeable future.